Today we're going to be talking about another effective route combo out of the Bunch X Nasty. Um, we've been doing kind of a little free uh, mini offensive guide here out of an off-meta formation. A lot of you guys wanted to see some off-meta stuff, so I wanted to bring that to you. We're in the Rams playbook. Um, if you want to get any of my uh, full schemes, offensive, defensive ebooks, everything is available by becoming a Patreon member. It's only $10 to do so, and the link to sign up for the Patreon is going to be down in the description down below. Now, the play that we're going to be talking about today is really we're looking for essentially a cross, uh, a crossing concept or crossing route. And so I'm going to set a couple of audibles here just so that we can kind of get on the field and get into some route combinations. So this PA deep cross go is really good. PAX out cross. Verticals has a cross play. PA cross has a cross play. You're mainly looking for key thing here. You're looking for play action. Okay, and you're looking for some type of crossing route, ideally coming from the slot wide receiver. So we also have this play PA boot slide, which we have already talked about, but we might talk about a different setup. So let's take a look at all these crossing routes. Not every route's created equal. We know that in Madden. So PA deep cross go. You see it's kind of this deep crossing route. So I'm going to go ahead and just call hike, kind of see just what does it do. Uh, and it, it, it's a super deep in route. Honestly, not too bad of a route. Um, and we might even be able to play around with that in a minute. Uh, but that's kind of interesting. Now let's take a look at this PAX outcross. Um, I mean, you can also mess around with kind of smart routing. One of the things you'll notice is that this smart routed route, is kind of like a, uh, a play out of gun trips, like a deep post route. So that's something. So let's say for example, and I'll just show you. So let's say that they're running like uh, cover three. You could go to this play uh, PAX out cross and you could do something in the regard of basically this right here. And if you watch this deep cross, a lot of times this should be a one play touchdown against cover three. Yep, as you can see right there. So again, different routes do different things. You have kind of, it's kind of a unique play that you have in this formation, this PA deep cross. Let's see what happens if I smart route this. You see it's gonna go even deeper down the field. I'm at the 40, it's gonna break. Look at how deep that broke across. That broke at a 30, it's like a 30 yard in route. So kind of just unique routes here. But really the PA cross here, if you take a look at this play, um, this has a really nice crossing route from the circle receiver. Uh, so what we also wanna test just briefly here, can we motion anybody? Not really, can't really get anybody in a good motion position. Um, so that's kind of a bummer, honestly, um, cause we kind of wanted it to come from the slot receiver and that's probably the best crossing route we're going to have. The, the first one that we went over this PA deep cross, if we just leave this as is stock, he's going to run a pretty decent depth, but you see, it's not super consistent against man coverage. Again, you want to start by being able to beat man, then you want to progress to be able to being able uh, to consistently beat zone. So this PA boot slide is kind of the best kept uh, secret in this formation. So what we're going to do is we're going to slant the outside bunch receiver. We are going to um, drag or in route the tight end. That's up to you. You can leave him on that little flat route. And then if you want to, you can corner route this player, but realistically, I think fading him is the most consistent option. Motion this guy out, snap just before he sets, and you'll see that this creates a nice high low between the slant or the uh, the crosser and the route to the tight end. Now, if I was to leave the tight end on his route, it's not a bad option either because if you watch, he'll kind of still get over here. The problem becomes he's not super consistent at being able to attack man coverage. If you wanted this play to be a little bit more consistent against man, you might want to utilize, you can always utilize that slot apprentice post. That's a really good man beating route. And then of course you have your, your, uh, your motion slant. Now the way that you want to throw your motion slant, especially if it's just a straight man to man call, like it's just straight man coverage, you want to throw the ball outside when he lights up just like that and kind of pass lead that inside and it'll be able to beat man that way. Um, you can wait on the route, but if you're playing some of these really good corners right now with one step and KOs and all that, you got to be kind of careful. But And then there you see that crossing route's pretty good. Again, these other two crossing routes kind of wish that they would be able to be utilized, but they're just not the right route, to be quite honest. Like they're just not 
the best way to run the routes. Um, they're not consistent against man coverage. Even the verticals crosser. What what is cool about the verticals play though is you can actually really utilize this deep corner as kind of your your clear out route. And you can run it kind of like this. And now you've got, in theory, but you see how they're kind of running in the same direction. So that's another little point um, that we have to kind of like think through. So a way that you can counter, and again, is what I was talking about a second ago, where you can use that slot apprentice post because it's going to cut sharp and it's going to cut over the middle. Um, right there, somehow Rogers just bagged everybody, but uh, is what it is. So really good against man. Uh, this is a pretty good play against man. Against zone, we want to test it against cover four first. So against cover four, um, this is pretty solid. What you should get on cover four is this crosser is shallow enough that if they play hard flats, you're going to be able to throw that crosser pretty regularly. The other beauty of, of this crossing route is let's say, for example, that they're on they're in a cover three coverage. If they're in a cover three coverage, then now it's gonna look something like this. And you see that that curl flat will play that crosser. The way around that is to utilize the uh, any of the other routes. So any of the other deep crossers are actually really good uh, for these situations. So I wanted to show you that. So let's say for example, that, that first crosser that goes about 30 yards, this is really good for this setup right here because it's a deep dig route and it gets behind the cloud flats really well. Um, it gets behind the curl flats, cloud flats relatively well. So that's where, you know, if, if you, again, you got to think a little bit strategically, are they giving you more man or are they giving you more zone? If they're giving you more zone, then this variation of the play is really good at a PA deep cross because again, it's that deep dig, that cloud flat will never defend that unless they put a zone draw back there. And then the beauty of them putting a zone draw back there is that's where we can start to get into some of these really nice plays within this offense where we're going to take advantage of a cover two look where we have this nice deep route to uh, to uh, Carmichael and then we're able to motion Cromartie over on a fade and now you've got a situation where it's that you know deep corner with a streak as a clear out and could potentially bomb uh, the cover to coverage that way. So that's the benefit of, of having this crossing route here, this PA deep cross is it's going to force them if they do go zone to have to go zone in that, in that way. So this is a really good setup all in all. You really want to capitalize on that slant route. It's probably the best route um, at beating man and zone together in one play relatively consistently. And then again, you also have, you know, your crosser, your drag route, like in the example of the curl flats, you still have that quick drag that's going to force them to have to play hard flats on both sides. And now we're starting to get them to expand their zones out horizontally where they're having to put three zones on the sideline, on both sidelines, which will then open up the middle of the field later on in the offense. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you want to check out more stuff like this, join the Patreon for just $10. You're going to get access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. Dropped over 25 ebooks this season. The link is down in the description. All you got to do is go down and click it, and you can go get signed up for the Patreon right now.